Boom. 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 We hold these truths as self-evident that not all setups are equal. That's right. These three elements came together just kind of by random chance when I went out to play a jam one night and it worked really well for me. This is a Joyo Vintage Overdrive. It's their take on the Tube Screamer and I like it even better than the Ibanez Tube Screamer. It seems a little bit more vivid and uh, I, just, I just dig it. Right. This is the Plum Crazy Fender Pro Junior which you know, came pretty stock when I got it. I've had a friend of mine work on it a little bit. I haven't changed the speaker, though I have experimented with some NOS tubes and I like what I've got now. I actually have a 1287 in the number one slot so that harmonica players can play through it at the jams. And yet it still sounds pretty great with the guitar, as you're going to see. And of course, right over here, we have the love of my life, my Strat that I bought when I was 16 years old. It's seen a lot of, uh, it's seen a lot of stuff, as you can see. Once again, this is blues pedals, and this is a format where I don't pre-script anything. I just wing it from the top of my head, just because I know this gear really well. And before we get going, if you'd like to subscribe or hit the thumbs up, then you can let YouTube and me know that you like what's going on here. Now let's get on with it. Most electric guitarists will agree that there is a moment when you're plugged into a rig and you're performing and everything just gels. And that's exactly what happened to me when I grabbed this little cache of stuff, went out to a blues jam where they let people play pretty loud too, and it just all worked. And that's what this presentation is about. Certain guitars, pedals, and amplifiers just sound really great together. And the flip side of that is sometimes they don't. Sometimes you plug into something and you think it might be really great or because another person says, you got to plug into this, man. You got to plug your guitar into this. And you do, and it's just not cutting it for you. And that is because certain pieces of gear just work well together. These three are definitely that rule. Let's plug them in and hear what it sounds like. So this is my old friend. It's a 74 Fender Stratocaster I've had all my life. Right? It's been modified in a number of ways. Right? This is, uh, that's all me right there. <laughs> as well as the other battle scars. Yeah, baby. You know, um, it's a piece of wood with wires and it makes me really happy. But, um, you know, I haven't treated it like a jewel in a glass case. I've played it all this time, all right? So some people refer to this as the dragonfly. That's because my nephew Kyle put this sticker on when he was a little guy. And uh, I just refer to it as my old friend these days. This is a Kaler tremolo. Yes, there are five tuning buttons here. It's a long story, but uh, needless to say, it works just fine. In fact, I'm gonna gig with it tomorrow. I'm playing it through the Joyo Vintage Overdrive which is a Tube Screamer clone that just has a bit more of a vivid character to it. And uh, I like it a lot. And then of course, the Plum Crazy Fender Blues Junior with the wheat grill cloth. And uh, I got this from a guitar center in Texas, I think one night when, um, when I was on drugs. And um, I haven't regretted it. And these are my knees. So let's hear what this thing sounds like. We've got, uh, we've got the forward pickup. just the guitar, just the uh, good old strap going through this amp. And boy, that sure is a nice sound. So that's what I thought that fateful night. I thought, well, you know, I'll play my rhythm stuff just like this. Which sounds amazing. And then I'll toggle on the pedal when it's time to play a solo. Like this.
Now, I'm really not playing at the volume that I was that night because, uh, like I said, this particular club that I play in, well, they have a really huge, uh, loud sound system, you know, four subwoofers and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, so, you know, kind of had free license to uh, turn up the little purple one in here and uh, really go for it. So right now I just have the volume just below four, but I think in situations like that, it might actually make its way up to five. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, pun intended because, you know, most of us can't really crank up our amplifiers the way we like um, when we go out to play blues and, and play jams and in clubs and stuff like that. So we have to kind of keep things at bay. That's where a pedal, a distortion pedal such as this really comes in. I'm sure the original by Ibanez is really great. I've, I've never owned a, an original T8, but uh, I have owned some Ibanez uh, tube screamers in the past, and uh, I think most of them I've given away to students. Um, but I have this one, and then I have the, the Behringer, which is a clone of the original. I'm gonna kick in a little extra sauce here because I have that lower wattage tube in the number one slot. <laughs> pickup band I was with and uh, things were just really going golden you know I had a 12 ax7 in the number one slot um, a 12 ax7 tube in the number one slot and so there was there was it was a it was a bit meatier and the overtones were grabbing a lot more than they are here um, I could turn the amp up a little bit I suppose and see if we can get a little bit of that going on <laughs> Like I said, I've, I've dialed down the wattage a little bit by changing out the tubes. So that gives you an idea of this great tone that I got with this particular amp. So the four of us traveled the highways and byways, popping into jams and uh, amazing people with that wonderful tone. Then one day I was at a jam and somebody had the same Fender Deluxe Reverb amp that I play through. All right. He also had his pedal board kind of sitting on top of the amp and uh, he, he invited me to plug this guitar into his rig. And I thought, okay, I'll try this guy's rig. So in his pedal board, he had an EP boost pedal and an OCD pedal. So I went ahead and plugged my old friend into this guy's rig and got this amazing, amazing sound. And it convinced me that I should go out and buy an OCD pedal, which I did not have at that time. So I did. I went and bought one and um, I played my guitar, threw that into my amp, and I didn't like it at all. And I thought, what's going on here? And I also use a boost pedal, so I put the boost pedal in front of it, like I did when I was at the jam with this guy's stuff. Now, one of the things I didn't consider was that on my amplifier, I have a 50-watt Weber speaker, and that this guy's amplifier most likely had a stock speaker or something that was rated stock, like 25 watts. So that's what was happening. My guitar was pushing the OCD pedal into his amplifier with a speaker that had wattage that was half of what mine is. So what was happening was that we were pushing that speaker and making it distort and I was getting this blissful sound. Unfortunately, it didn't work out when I bought the pedal and plugged it into the same amplifier which I own, 
but which was modified with the Weber speaker. So, onto the library shelf went to the OCD pedal. Until, boom, boom. <laughs> to go play with a band. The guitar player in the band is a friend of mine. He's a really good guitar player. His name is Mike Van Doon, and he's really a Fender guy. And so I thought, you know what? Why don't I bring the PRS to complement his sound, and let's see how that goes. Now, I tried it with the Tube Screamer sound, and it was a little brash, a little brash sounding. So I thought, well, let's give this OCD pedal another chance, right? Now, of course, here is the PRS, just the purple amp, and it's pretty glorious. Pretty nice, right? When I plugged in the OCD, <laughs> snap, crackle, pop. I had a new combination, right? And so this is what you want to do. You want to take away from this video the idea that you should try different combinations, different guitars, different pedals. What works for some don't work for others. A pedal that works in one of your amps might not work in the other amp, and vice versa. It's good to experiment. So with that in mind, we'll see you all next time on Blues Pedals. <laughs>